What's up everyone, Matt here. Do you want to update a parent record from the child update? Or maybe update the parent the child record from the parent update? Are you trying to figure out how to get references to work with the quick update system? In this video, I'm going to walk through how you can use the quick update system to modify, to update a parent record when you update the child record. Thanks for watching AppSheet Explained, everyone. I'm your host, Matt from Multitech Visions. Let's get to it. Okay, so in order to make this work first, it helps to have the quick update system installed in your app. So you can find that in the AppSheet community. Just search for quick update system and you'll find this post where I've got some, there's other bits in here that kind of tell you about how to do stuff already. Um, this is going to be a little bit more, a little more of a detailed and an actual walkthrough of what you can do. Um, so once you've implemented that with just really briefly, all it really requires is that on, so just, uh, let me lay some, let me lay some groundwork for the app that you're looking at here. Um, I have an order table and an order details table. So the parent and the child on the parent table, I have a field that I call update and it's just a number and it's hidden. That's all it really takes. Um, and then you got to implement actions. So on the parent table in behavior, if I scroll down here, you can see, so here on the order table, I have an action that runs, uh, it changes, it up, sets the value of some columns in this row. It runs that on the, uh, it changes the update column to update plus one. So that's the basis for the quick update system and how it works. You have a number column and an action that just takes whatever number is there and it pluses one to it. When you do that, it causes all of the f other fields that are calculated, any of your app formulas, any initial values that have a reset on edit, anything like that. It causes all of those to recalculate all over again. So it's a really quick way to get like stale data in your record updated because maybe I've changed the formulas and I need all of these records to update to get the new value, right? So that's the whole purpose behind the quick update system is I can push a button and it causes everything to recalculate itself all in one shot. So once you have it installed, the way that you can trigger that update on the parent table from the child side. So what I'm getting at is I have a child table and I'm submitting a record in that. When I submit a record or I edit the record, whatever, I want to update the parent, right? So I've implemented the quick update system on the parent table already. And now here's what you have to do with actions in order to get this sort of upward the chain action update to work. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, here on the parent table is the update order, right? So now what I have to do is I have to create an action on the child table. So here on the child table, right here, so I have this ref update order from order details. It lives on the order details. It executes an action on a set of rows. The reference table is the order table. The rows is the order link, the reference column, in the order detail table to the order and then you just wrap that in list because this field that we're dealing with here requires a list input you can't feed it a single value if you do it gives you an error so it has to be a list so if you have one value just wrap the one value in list and now it's a list so list of one value congratulations moving on you have that and the action that we're running is update that update action on the parent table. So this lives on the child and it updates the parent. And now what I do is I take that and I create another action that's a composite action. So it lives, it's this save order details. It lives on the order detail table and it's one of these grouped execute a sequence of actions, the one always at the very bottom. And I take that action that I just made, the ref update order from order details, and I put that in this stack. Now, the reason you do this is because this is sort of future proofing everything that you're going to do, because maybe you want to do this ref update and do something else. 
So by creating this stack action in the beginning like this, you're future proofing any kind of future functionality you may include. Now what you do to round off this whole thing is you take this stack action and you put it into the form save event for the child table. So if I go here, the easiest way to do this is to just go to the app preview and find the specific view that you're talking about. So it's the form for the order details for me. So I can just click here on one of my line items and this is my order details form. So this is the place where when the form saves, I want this to kick off that stack action that I made. So inside the form view, if you come down here, there's, there's a link down here to easily get to the view that we're looking at in the preview. So if you click on that, it opens it here. If this didn't open, uh, chances are what happened is it's a, it's a system level view and you have them hidden. So there's a toggle down here at the very bottom of all the views that says show or hide system views. If you click that link and it, nothing happened, you have to show the system views. Okay, so when you have that, you'll see this system created order detail view. And if you look at the very bottom of this, there's a behavior section. And inside there, this is where you put that stack action that you created. So what this says is that when I save this form, when I press the save button, it kicks off this action. And this action is a stack of actions. And so it, the first thing it does is it, it executes this ref update order De order from order details and then you know I could put other stuff in here too you know if uh, you know I know you know if you had other types of things that you wanted to do you know you could have all of these inside this stack so that when this form saves over here it goes boom 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 it runs down this stack executing all of your actions but I just want to leave it with just this order details that's there and the product that you, the, the result of all of this is something that looks like this. So what I'm going to do is we're looking at order 47B, whatever, whatnot, whatnot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the orders. And if we find four sevens, it's this bottom one right here. Okay. So if we look in the update column for this corresponding order, you see the number is two. Okay. So when I save another child record, then that stack action should kick off and that should cause the parent to update. You know what I mean? So the two should turn to a three when I save that form. So let's test that and see if it works. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to open the form. I'll make a change. You don't have to. Um, and I'll save this. Now look up here. There's two. Did you see the two that was there really fast? Now it went away really, really fast. And so if we look, boom. It's now a three. So what happened there is I saved the record and the form save event kicked off that stack action, which ref updated the parent. And again, all the parent update is just, you implement the quick update system. So it's just, you take the update and add plus one to it. But then if you add any further columns inside this order, that were calculated based on, you know, an app formula or something that's like doing a select or doing a lookup or taking other fields and doing some math or whatever. If you have any of those, all of those update now because you hit that quick update. That's how you can implement the quick update system to, up, to update your, your parent from your child. Hope it made sense, everybody. Thanks for watching. Sure do appreciate it. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel with all the algorithm stuff that's going on I'm trying to build. Also, if you really want to show your love, you can head on over to patreon.com slash multitech. There's some goodies over there. It's 10 bucks a month. I got a lot of good stuff going on over there. Check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the community.